What's up, YouTube? Dragon Power 17 here today. I'm coming at you guys with my Buster Blader uh, Shadal deck profile. So, I came up with this deck idea uh, a few days ago, and I was like, I feel like this could work because the one of the best Shadal monsters outside of Construct, of course, is Shekinaga uh, for this time, for this format. And one is still good. So I was like, well, Buster Blade is Earth, so that can really work out pretty well. So uh, a couple of a couple of dual tests and edits and more dual tests later, here's this deck profile, and we're going to get right straight on into it. Uh, 40 cards. Um, there's a side deck as well. Yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, so we've got... Triple Buster Blader, the Destruction Swordmaster. Now, never in a million years did I ever think I would run three of this card for any reason. But this card is really good in this particular build uh, because it's a Destruction Sword card, which is what this deck kind of plays on. And it gets sent to the graveyard really easily, so it, it's always live and it doesn't matter about... Um, it being in the hand as much. Uh, we do run the one-off copy of the OG Buster Blader. So I was considering, so I added this later after the testing and edit phase. I added the sec, this uh, copy, the single copy of Buster Blader. Uh, just because it's the name and it's the attribute and you kind of do want to see him at times. So the OG copy of Buster Blader is pretty uh, important still. Uh, on to the rest, of the rest of the Buster Blader engine. We got Triple Buster Whelp and Double Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. So these are self-explanatory. Uh, I wish Construct was here, but it's not, unfortunately. Konami make me sad. But um, yeah, the Dark Attribute plays well with the Shadal build, with the Shadal engine, and of course, Bust, uh, Dragon Buster is a very insane card effect. And Buster Whelp is standard. You need three of those. Onto the Shadal engine. This is completely up to personal preference. And this is what I feel is the most important uh, ratio. So we have Triple Hedgehog, Double Beast, and one Squamata. Uh, sorry, two, uh, Double Squamata. Um, I feel like this is probably the best ratio in my opinion because you you do want to see this guy so you want to see hedgehog in your hand and since you run such a low shadow count because you don't want to run too many shadow cards because they're not very really useful in my opinion um outside of the fusion aspect uh you want to see hedgehog because you send this guy to the grave and you grab one of these cop uh, one of these uh two lovely guys there and if keeps your it keeps your um your Shekinaga alive. So you pitch this guy to the grave and grab a Shadal from your deck, or you fuse with this guy, grab a Shadal from your deck, and you have a live Shekinaga play. Um, and then Beast is good because you draw two, or you draw cards, and Squamata is fool's burial. Uh, the last monster we have, one max C, and that rounds those guys off. Onto the spells, we have double drag uh, destruction. I'm zooming a little bit, it's kind of far away. Destruction, swordsman fusion. Uh, this card is what makes the Buster Blader uh, fusion monster. It's really good. This ratio is probably the best because it's searchable. And that's <laughs> pretty much how it goes. Like, uh, the three Shadal Fusion, one L Shadal Fusion. I don't care what amount of ratio of Shadal you play. If you want to see it work pretty well, you've got to run three Shadal Fusion. There's no reason to run two Shadal Fusion and substitute the third one for anything else because that's kind of silly. Why don't you just run three Shadal Fusion because it's the best um, fucking way to summon Shadal monsters. Um, so this card, so this is what makes, what made my idea also, um, rant aside, 
uh, <clears throat> your your Buster Bladers in hand become there's three more full, three more or four more foolish burials of sorts, and you've got all the Shadal cards. So these guys are what fuel your um, your Buster Blader engine by putting them in the grave. Um, going second, if you have to go dreaded the dreaded second turn. You've got the Shadal effect to fuse from the deck, so you can. It becomes a double Fool's Barrier, one for a Shadal monster, one for Buster Blader. And you get to set off your other. Your other, um. Engine in motion. Uh. Onto the Buster Blader side, we've got the one of Emblem of Dragon Destroyer. To search your one of Buster Blader, or add the Buster Blader Destruction Swordmaster from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, this card, I was like, I'm going to add this and one Buster Blader to the deck. So I added those two. And this card makes a lot of sense to me because, yes, you want one Buster Blader. And if you open both, it's kind of blah. But um, if you open this card, you always you all use it to search Buster Blader. If you have a Destruction Sword in the graveyard, Destruction Sword Master, you can grab that and make your... Uh, Destruction Sword Memories live. So, on to our one ups. Uh, no, sorry. There's other spells before the one ups, but let's just get the one ups out of the way since I'm already there. One Fool's Burial, one Upstart Goblin, and one Fool. And, sorry, one Future Fusion and one Upstart Goblin, one Fool's Burial. Um, this card I'm testing. Oh, the Errata. <clears throat> it kind of makes me a little bit sad because I have to wait a turn, but at the same time, if it does be able to resolve, it's really, really good, um, provided I don't die, but I don't think with my trap line I'm going to die in the next turn, it's going first. Uh, this card blows going second, absolutely, um, so that's whatever, like, um, Upstart Goblin and Fool's Burial, these are generic draw power and fool's burial is just fucking amazed tits in this deck and our last spell that's not a one of is double allure of darkness i don't like the triple allure of darkness because you actually do want to see your shadows in the hand and banishing one with such a low count can be kind of sad to, to see to see it go when you draw the shadow fusion but nonetheless it's any draw power and a little darkness is probably the best way to go, in my opinion. So, on to the traps. We've got the double destruction sword memories. This card reads, you discard one dragon, one destruction sword card, special summon one buster blader monster from the deck. Uh, that's the first effect. The second effect is you can banish this card from grave. And the materials on a listed on a buster blader, the destruction, the dragon destroyer swordsman. And fusion summon it from the extra deck. Uh, so that card effect, this card is just fucking amazing altogether. It makes it it makes it so you don't have to rely on the OG Buster Blader as much, because it says Buster Blader Monster. And pitching destruction sword cards is even more uh, synergistic with the destruction sword master. Like when you emblem a dragon story, if you have to put it in your hand, and make this card live. Um, there's plenty of other plays you can do, like have this first turn set and discard the other one if you draw it, or um, the Destruction Sword Fusion and the Whelps and stuff. So it makes this card really, really good going first. Um, next we've got Double Floodgate, Trap Hole, and Double Quaking for that fusion. Well, these cards are just really good in general, but for the fusion that can't attack directly... It has piercing damage, and this is all the cards that can help it get to that state. Um, Double Starlight Road, through testing. Um, originally, these were on my body as a shields. And through testing, I was like, well, i rather lose monsters than back rows, especially since I'm running Future Fusion and... I was like, well, my body doesn't protect me from Twin Twisters, which is like the bane of my existence because of Dragon Buster Destruction Sword and Future Fusion. 
So I was like, let's try the Silent Rose instead to protect me from the Twin Twisters. And they still protect me from uh, Kaiju Slumbers and Dark Holes and Ragekis and such. So I was like, that's kind of a win-win. So I just went with the Starlight Road because I built this deck to go first, mainly. Last of the traps, we have the Solemn Brigade. Two strikes, one warning. And that rounds out our 40-card deck. On to our extra deck, we've got Triple Buster Blader, the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman. Um, I like three of this card because the trap card can always summon these, and then you've also got the fusion spell, which is also recyclable. So you kind of want to have a Buster Blader to go into with all these, with all the extra fusion support the deck kind of got. Uh, Triple Buster Dragon. This card I can, um, through testing, I really like to see it on the field, and when it, it sucks when it gets Kaiju, like Kaijus are the, like, the worst of the worst in this deck um, to go up against. But on to the Shadal engine, we've got double Shekinaga, double Winda. <clears throat> I think through testing, I really liked a third Shekinaga to go into because when, like, so there's a, there's been times when I have used up both of them and needed to Shadal fusion from the deck and didn't have a Shekinaga to go into. So I think Actually, I would cut. I would cut a Buster Dragon uh, to accommodate for the third Chicken Naga, or maybe a Winda to to accommodate. I don't know. I think I want to keep Winda at two, but again, I'm still testing the deck, so we're still gonna go through and work on what is uh, the right ratios. On to the generics. We've got one Hot Red Dragon Arch Fiend Abyss. One Void Ogre Dragon, two Stardust, and one Beals. So, there's not much to say about these guys at Solid Road, obviously, but I run two. See, I wasn't, I was only originally running one Stardust Dragon, <clears throat> but I run two because I actually synchro into Stardust Dragon uh, very, very often. Uh, if I don't have, if I have cards in my hand and Void Ogre Dragon won't do anything, then I just synchro into Stardust Dragon. And I was like, well, I kind of want to have a body on board if I do Starlight Road, so I ran a second Stardust. And Beals is just Beals, so I can probably, I might cut him for the third check in Naga, in all honesty. <clears throat> he isn't really, I mean, he's good, but like, he's susceptible to the same stuff, like Kaijus and everything else. I mean, not that check in Naga isn't, but like, as far as the deck strategy goes, I think a third check in Naga would be more beneficial than Beals would be. But, uh, <clears throat> like I said, it's all personal preference, what you like. So that's the thing about this deck. This is super duper fun. You don't have to worry about, um, <clears throat> like, I've decided to not focus on building a deck to be as competitive as, as it needs to be, but I kind of want to make a deck that is kind of like not the best and be, do pretty well with it. So I made, I made this deck to see how well I can do at a local level. Like it's not really going to be regional or YCS material, but that's neither here nor there. I built the deck because it was fun. Um, so onto our extra, uh, side deck, we've got the one Gamma Seal, one Sticky Strings, and one Raiden. The one of Buster Dragon Wizard thing. Uh, this card is good in certain situations. It's not good enough to main deck in my opinion, and I already tested that. Because this card protect, prevents graveyard effects, but the more pressing card to go into would be the Dragon Buster because it prevents extra deck summons. Uh, these three, I do actually have them. Um, I have to switch between the two decks, unfortunately. But those three are Denko Seka. Uh, Denko Seka is these three. And I use it because it's really, really good. I do run a lot of traps, but there's so much I can side in <clears throat> um, that Denko second would be re would be really, really good um, going second. And I would side out most of my traps in that instance um, for stuff like the Kaijus, the Wizard if I need it, the Triple Twin Twister, uh, which is very prominent uh, for going second because you don't want to lose out the back row. Double Kaiju Slumber, Double Dark Hole, 
and one Raigeki to run out my side deck. Uh, thinking that I probably want to cut the Dark Holes or a Dark Hole and a Twin Twister or so some combination of this or maybe the Wizard, I don't know, to put in Mask of Restricts because it's such a problem when you you have like a soft lock on board with Buster Dragon and and uh, the in Buster Blade of the Fusion that a kaiju would just ruin this like tribute over this guy and you just are very very sad at that point. So I think I want to put in Mask of Strix just to be an out to kaijus. Um, <clears throat> So, yeah, that's the deck, guys. If you enjoyed it in any, any form or fashion, or if you enjoy Buster Blader as much as I do, leave a like and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Um, <clears throat> you can leave a comment down below if for anything that you thought would be good to run or anything I didn't think of um, <clears throat> that could help out Buster Bladers or the Shadal part can be more consistent. Um, you can also comment any Buster Blader hybrid decks you guys came up with because there's a lot of different options that Buster Blader can can pair well with. Um, a couple off the top of my head would be Blue Eyes. I've seen Red Eyes. Of course, Dark Magician because all the all the um, nostalgia junkies play Dark Paladin. It's amazing. Um, probably side in a Dark Paladin for the Dark Magician matchup so I can Destruction Sword Fusion there. Dark Magician, but yeah, so like, comment down below any hybrid, hybrid decks you guys come up with, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.